Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video of Abstract Thesis series. I came across a really interesting question. Now the question is that I have table 1 and table 2. I have 1 1 column and I want to you know, convert this into a single table where both the columns only join one by one. It's not Cartesian journal. Let me explain and try to do that. So let's say I enter data uh, at table D1 with the column C1 and I have value A, B and C. Okay. So this is my first table and let me load it. Okay. So I have column value A, B and C. I create another column and when we create the next column, we will go to power query uh, because the problem I want to solve is going to be solved there. So I come to the second problem, the second part of the thing. Now I get a, another table which contains C2, the name could be different also, 2 and 3 and this table is D2 and I let me go to the power query and the problem here is that I want to combine this column C1 and C2, A1, B2 and C3. This is how I want to combine. Now, now there is no key here to join. Now, this is really something which is a difficult problem to understand. We don't have the one of the idea comes to, key, uh, to me is that uh, I add an index column and I then join those things. But is there a something else which we can do? Okay, and now they are single single columns. So I came across a function which can do that. A really interesting function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. So I create a new blank query first of all for that. And I go there and I say advanced editor. And in the advanced editor, in the source itself, I'm going to write down, I say list dot zip. Now this is a really interesting function. What does it take? It takes lists. So and list of lists. Okay. And what is a list in Power BI? D1, C1 can act as a list. D1, C1 can act as a list. Then D2, C2 can also act as a list. So D1, C1, the table name, column name can act as a list. D2, C2, the table name, column name again can act as a list. Now I need to be a little bit careful here. Power query is basically case sensitive. So if we have given name which is non-case sensitive, things may or may not work. Okay. So now list.zip D1 the first part of the list, I, I've used this angular bracket because I'm creating a list of list. Now these columns is already a list and I'm creating a list of lists. So I'm putting these columns inside angular bracket to create a list. And then I close this function and I say source and I say, okay, now it gives me list of list. Now, right now I don't see any expanding operations here. So first thing which I do, I say convert it to table and I say, okay. Now then I go here and I look at here and I get a one b2 and c3 three list now i want it to be expanded now i say expand here and i say extract values i don't want into rows so it asks how do you want so now if you have comma you can say choose colon semicolon whatever say i i right now i'm saying that i want just comma separated list so give me comma so i got a1 b2 and c3 but this is not the final outcome i want i want them to be two columns so i go here and i say split split column by delimiter my column is comma and I want it into two columns. So two columns and I say, okay. So A, B, C, one, two, three, two columns side by side. Look at this and this. Appended, no cartesian, no index creation, nothing we have done. We have just used one pretty good function zip. Now, can I do with three columns? Let's say in this table and I'll tell you how to edit this table. I go here and I started write down one more column. D, E, F and for the time being let me call it a C2. Not C2, let me call it a C3 because C2 we already have. Just to differentiate, the name doesn't matter it, it, but let me call it C3. Okay, now how do I do that? Now what let me do is let me duplicate this query because let, let it be there. Now I go here and edit, edit this query, advanced editor and I go here and I I say, okay, fine. I got D1 in the D1. Now I have C3 also, and I'm not going to touch any steps. I say, let, let it be there. 
whatever way it is there let it be there does it really happens or not so instead of two columns i say now you have three columns and i say done now start giving me error out here so let's say which step it is giving a list list extracted values split by delimiter here that's where it i i should have got three columns not two so i go here till extracted values so what i have do are done again is list dot this then i convert it to table and then i extract the list comma separated and this is where we need a little slight difference here we said by delimiter and in this by delimiter instead of two i need three and i say okay i got three columns a b c d e f 1 2 3 so you got it so how do you like this example does it solve any problem for you do let me know thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you